What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee discussion video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Meltan and Melmetal, their official national Pokedex numbers that has been found inside of Pokemon Go from network traffic data, from data mining, our boy Charles, as you guys know, a huge data miner for Pokemon Go has found in the code of Pokemon Go that lists new text as Meltan being number 808 and Mel Metal being 809. So what this means is that they continue from the National Pokedex right after Zero Aura, who is 807. Now the reason why I'm making this video is because there was a lot of confusion once Mel Tan got revealed by data miners. There was this number 891 that was attached to Mel Tan, and a lot of people, including me, assumed that this was his National Pokedex number, that this was going to be the number that he was going to appear in the Pokedex. 891. I made a video calling Mel Tan Mr. 8. 91 that was before we knew the name a lot of people went with that name even there's a hashtag hashtag number 891 if you follow it it has tons of Meltan tweets and stuff like that so a lot of people assume that 891 was his national I, I keep saying his but was the Pokemon Meltan's national Pokedex number but it's actually not 891 it's part of the number system for the in-game assets that doesn't necessarily correspond to the national pokedex numbers now i'm reading this from cerebi.net i'm have a link in the description below as you guys always know check out cerebi give them the click follow them on twitter cerebi and also follow them on youtube they also have a dope youtube channel as well and that's pretty much it as far as the news that we got for meltan and Mel Metal. i just wanted to do this video because even i have reported 891 and i wanted to be responsible and let you guys know that it actually has been confirmed again not confirmed by the pokemon company or confirmed by a game that got released that has meltan or mel metals national pokedex number within it but pokemon go now lists meltan and mel metal as 808 and 809 respectively as their national pokedex number which is shown by in-game text that is listed in the data for pokemon go again we don't have that released to the public once we do get screenshots of Mel Metal's Pokedex entry or Mel Tan's Pokedex entry inside of Pokemon Go. I will be doing a video on it. I think we're going to get that within the next two weeks. It's going to be updated inside of Pokemon Go. I would say probably before the Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee get released to coincide with that release to make sure it's up and running and working fine. I'm okay with this number. I think the biggest um, like hootla that came out of this number confusion was the fact that if it was 8 91 and, and Meltan being a mythical Pokemon, even though it, it does evolve. And 891 was a weird number. It was like 86 Pokemon in between that were unconfirmed. So a lot of people drew to a conclusion that Gen 8 were gonna have at least 86 or 80 whatever Pokemon in the game. And that made a lot of people feel uncertainty and uh, like worried that Gen 8 is gonna only have 80 something new Pokemon. And uh, to be honest, 80 something is a huge number considering there's already 809 Pokemon, but it was also thought that, you know, that this is where the generation was going to stop at 891 and 892 because this was that mythical Pokemon for that generation. I'd say putting them at 808 and 809 kind of also does confirm them to be Gen 7 Pokemon. I know a lot of people who do believe that Meltan and Memetal is Gen 8 because of the fact they're not catchable in a Gen 7 core game like Pokemon Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon. But then there's also people who believe that Gen 7 doesn't end until Gen 8 starts. And Gen 8 will start, of course, when the Gen 8 games roll around. So let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee are Gen 7 games, technically.
And I kind of lean towards that theory, that their Gen 7 games, Meltan and Melmetal, are Gen 7. I think once we got the 891 number and Meltan, a lot of people were hyped, including myself, for Gen 8. So we kind of lumped it into Gen 8 as a, you know, being a part of the hype trade and being a part of the future of Pokemon. You know, we want that newness. And Meltan, at the time, was that newness. And with that 891 number, we all fell into that hole and I don't want to say into that hole, but we all love Pokemon. We all fell attached to that number and try to make theories about it. And again, I'm making this video because I was wrong. Meltan, Melmetal being confirmed as 808 and 809. Let me know your thoughts on this number being confirmed in the comment section below. Do you consider Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee as a Gen 7 game and Meltan being part of Gen 7? Or do you think in your brain still that Meltan and Melmetal is a Gen 8 game? Leave your thoughts on that in the comment section below. I would love to hear it. As you guys know, I answer all comments. I'm going to see you down there in the comment section. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. And you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.